Number 58. In a significant experiment performed many years ago, 5.6977 grams of cadmium iodide in 44.69 grams of water raised the boiling point of 0.181 degrees Celsius. What does this suggest about the nature of the solution of the CDI2, the cadmium iodide? All right. So very significant experiment many, many, many years ago. I wonder what experiment this was. <laughs> but anyway, whatever they did, they, they found out, you know, these scientists saw that the boiling point was raised. It was increased by 0.1, uh, 0.181 degrees Celsius. And we're talking about solution chemistry, right? Now, just know that when you're dealing with boiling points, boiling points will only be able to elevate or get higher. So this is a boiling point elevation. A boiling point will never drop from the pure uh, solvent, right? So the pure boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. If you add any type of solute into your water, and salt is included, right, the salt, the table salt that we use, um, to, that we throw into, you know, water to get it to boil faster, to lower that boiling point, that's a myth. It will only increase the boiling point. Um, salt is just used for the flavor. For the flavor of the pasta. Okay. But anyway, so your boiling point is always going to, you know, rise up. And in this case, it rose 0.181 degrees Celsius. Now, since we're talking about boiling point elevations and we have solutes and solvents, um, generally there's only one formula, and that's this one right here. Delta TB equals KB times M times I. This delta TB is the change in the boiling point. So that little triangle just means change, but there's another name for it. Delta TB is also called the boiling point elevation, right? And they did tell us that the boiling point has rose by 0.8, uh, 0.181 degrees Celsius. So we know that this number is 0 0.181 degrees Celsius. So check. The KB value is the boiling point elevation constant, and all your KBs are only reliant on the solvent. So we really have to figure out what is our solvent here. Now just know that the smaller amount, 5.6977 grams, that was placed into the liquid media, the, um, the smaller amount, generally it's a solid, is always going to be the solute. So the cadmium iodine is the solute, and whatever the liquid medium is, in this case, it was being placed in water, that's the solvent. And together, the solute and the solvent always add up to the solution. So in this case, the solvent is H2O. So I did have to go to the textbook to find out what that KB value was. Hopefully on a test or quiz, they will give you this information, right? But the KB for water uh, is 0 0.512 degrees Celsius per molality. So we know this information. This M, it's the italicized M, this is molality. Can we find out a molality? Well, what's the formula? Here's the formula for molality. And maybe what I'll do is I'll just bring this down a little bit. That's good. Let's see. Molality always equals the moles of the solute divided by the kilograms of the solvent. Now, the moles of the solute, we just said that the cadmium iodide is the solute, but they gave it to us in grams. So, let's first convert the 5.6977 grams of the cadmium iodide. They did say that it was CDI2. And let's convert it to moles. Okay, so uh, grams to moles, right? Stoichiometry all the way in the back of Gen Chem 1. 
Grams to moles, we always just divide by the molar mass. I'll just call it mm. So we got to go on our periodic tables and find out what the molar mass is of CdI2. Now, where is Cd? Let me see. I'm looking at my periodic table. Cadmium is always a tricky one for me. Uh, did you find it? Here it is. I found it. It has number 48. So cadmium on my periodic table is 112.4. And then I have to add two iodines. Each iodine is 126.9. So let's see what that number is. So I get 112.4 plus 2 times 126.9. Oh, that looks good to me. Let's press enter. So let's divide by 366.2. So 5.6977 divided by that answer. And we get 0 0.0155, I don't know, 556. Perfect. And what's next? Let's see. So we just found out the moles of the solute, right? This one is 0 0.01556. And the kilograms of the solvent, well, they gave me grams. So let's first just convert that. 44.69 grams of H2O. I just need to go to kilograms of H2O. Grams to kilograms, we divide by 1,000. Similarly, you could take the decimal, move it to the left, three times. So this would be 0 0.04469. Okay, so we got this. 4469. Let's find out that molality, right? Molality equals moles of the solute divided by the kilograms of the solvent. So 0 0.01556. I'm going to divide that by 0 0.04469. Molality equals this answer divided by 0 0.04469. Right? Yep, that looks good to me. Okay, so we got a molality. 0 0.348, I guess 2. So check for that. Remember, we're still trying to use this formula. So if I have the delta TB, I have the KB, I have the M, we're going to solve for the I value. And the I value is the van Hoff factor. This is going to tell you if the cadmium iodide, the CDI2, is it acting as an electrolyte or a non-electrolyte? So that's, that's where we're at right now. We're going to find that out. So let's see. Delta TB, 0.181, equals the KB, which is 0 0.512, times the molality, which is 0 0.3482, and the times by I. So essentially, you know, we could get those two numbers to multiply together. 0 0.181 equals uh, 0.512. 2 times that molality value. I'll just use the whole number. And I get roughly 0 0.178. And this is times by I. So to get I by itself, to find out whether the cadmium iodide is going to be a um, electrolyte or a non-electrolyte, we're just going to divide it and see what that I value is. Now generally speaking, an I value should be either a 1, a 2, a 3, or 4. It should be a whole number. So let's see, we'll try to get it as close to a whole number as possible. So let's see, this divided by this. Aha! So I get 1, 1 point, I mean 1.0, 1 154, 1 1.015. Now, for your Van Hoff factors, if you were a non-electrolyte, your I number would be a 1. This I value is very, 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 very close to 1. 
So this answer, what does this suggest about the nature of the solution? This is just kind of like a theory question, but they're basically asking you to describe what's going on with this I value. So since it is close to one, that means that CDI2 is acting as a non-electrolyte. Non-electrolytes do not dissolve. So there is no, you know, or very, 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 very little because you still have, you know, 0.15. So very little dissociation. And I'm sorry I'm, you know, running off the, the screen over here. I'm going to try to bring it over. So uh, it's acting as a non-electrolyte, very little dissociation. It's just going to act as one whole substance in the water. And that is the answer. So I hope this helps you out. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for uh, you know coming here, getting your uh, questions answered. My brother and I, we really do appreciate all you guys. This channel would not exist without you. We put out the... The, the answers, you watch them and do well on your test. And that's how, you know, it just keeps growing. Thank you so much. I really hope this is helping you out. And always, always, always keep learning. And we learn by doing problems, especially in educational settings. So the more problems, the more practice you have under your belt, you're going to do better in those tests and quizzes, okay? All right. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.